Nagori is standing outside uh, following an appearance by Mike Mangena and three co-accused. Hasina, uh, uh, recap the events of this morning for us, please. Good afternoon, and yes, we're coming to you from the uh, Randfontein Magistrates Court where Mike Mangena was just given a bail of 50,000 rand here at the court. The other three accused that were, uh, that were also arrested with him were denied bail as the three of them do not have uh, any uh, documents. They are illegal immigrants uh, and living in South Africa, so they were denied a bail. What we do know is that um, Mike uh, Mangena will remain um, in custody right now this morning till he pays that bill. The rest will remain in correctional services until they return to court on the 21st of February. But what we do know is that other community members that are here with us really demonstrating outside the court and we'll speak with them to kind of get an idea of how do they feel about um, you know, my getting um, bail uh, this morning and, and, and just their sentiments on uh, these. But in terms of me understanding that uh, he, 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 he says he's innocent and he says that you know he didn't know what was happening in his plot and he further says that he did cooperate with the police. Uh, isn't that enough for, uh, for you guys to actually grant him bail in that regard? No, it doesn't. The fact is his premises was used to manufacture drugs and as a landlord you must make sure that you, you conduct inspections and you check uh, in terms of what is happening within the premises. So for us it, it doesn't carry weight. It doesn't at all. The drugs were found in his premises and that it, it gives us a weight in terms of uh, he must be found guilty. And the yes. conversations that the community members were standing in front and behind you uh, were saying that there is a problem here of drugs around the areas here. But take us through that. Is there a drug problem around these communities? Yes, there is a drug problem of uh, uh, of there is a problem of drugs within our space. You can go to school um, and check in terms of kids who have dropped out in schools. Uh, we have statistics um, within our communities. Like yesterday, I'm saying we were launching. We had victims uh, that that are currently under uh, a supervision within uh, the, the, the 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 what is it. Uh, the, the area of 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 Ranfantein, where they 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 take him they take kids for rehabilitation go to that area and see how many kids are there who have been affected by 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 the drug by, by the drugs it's, it's it's really it's really sickening and it we, we we can't we can't say it's an excuse for him to, to for him to tell us that uh, he's not part of that and uh, he, he didn't know it, it's not on it's not on really that was one of the community members who were one of those that wrote letters to the police and to the area here telling us, uh, telling the community that um, there was drugs being done here in the plot of Mangena's home. Uh, what we do know and what we do understand from the bail application was that Mangena denies any knowledge of the drug uh, plant that was found on his plot. He says that he was leasing out that, he has a real estate business and that he does not know anything about this. This community says that's uh, not doesn't make a difference as a landlord he should know what is happening on his plot and that drugs is a huge issue in this area thank you so much uh, back to you in studio Hasina, um, this is Desiree once again you were talking earlier about disgruntled family members um, all right, we need to go to the state capture inquiry now so we're going to leave it right there with Hasina Gori who is at uh, the all right, let's go back. Hasina, um, do you have somebody to talk to the MPA apparently? Can you just hold on for us a moment and I will find Pindi Lo for us who is just uh, busy uh, giving us an interview at the moment. Has, has not uh, tried to evade justice. He handed himself over to the police so he cooperated with the investigation. And further than that, we didn't have any other reason to oppose bail as a state. All right, but uh, you know, is, 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 are you getting a sense as the National Prosecuting Authority that there isn't, in fact, um, a case against Mike Magen? Uh, what is it exactly? Is it because the state believes that he is innocent? No, no, no. Um, remember that bail has nothing to do with the trial itself. Uh, bail is, is just set in order to secure a person's uh, attendance in court. So at this stage, 
The state has preferred uh, charges against Mr. Mangena and three others, and the onus lies with the state to prove those allegations beyond reasonable doubt. So him getting bail must not be confused with his innocence or his guilt. That is still uh, to be ventilated in court. The state needs to prove its case and the defense needs to defend its case. That was Pindi Lo of the NPA speaking to us on uh, the NPA's decision to grant uh, Michael Mangena bail. They said that he has cooperated with the police and handed over his travel documents and they believe that he will stand for trial. All right, thank you very much, uh, Hasina. Let's now cross to the state capture inquiry in Pakistan. Try to assist.